Hi everyone and welcome back Competitive for You TV. We have another day, of plenty of football with the Champions League that will be back on Wednesday night uh, and also the EFL and also the Serie A and the Liga. So there is a lot, a lot of opportunities to bet. And that's the reason why we are also back here with uh, some analysis and tips to help you out tonight. So uh, the way of the show today, uh, the way it's going to be is that we have uh, a treble released by our expert here at News for You TV on the EFL, especially on the championship. And then we're going to go to our Premier League expert, Robbie Billund, that will give us the tips on the Champions League and also on the EFL. It will provide a double, Champions League and a championship, and also uh, a bet of the day. Then we are going to Italy once again our, our, our expert, local expert, Luca Semproni will give us the tips for tonight on the Italian Serie A. Make sure you subscribe to Betting is for You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Betting is for You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account Click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also, in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bed sleep. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites. You will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change, so make sure you double check them before betting. So there is a lot to go through and let's start immediately with the treble that has been released by our expert here at Bendis for You TV. So the first match is Bansley to win 2 nil against Vicom. Bansley has been a surprise package of this second part of the season. After a shaky start, they have now gone eight wins in the last nine league games. So really, uh, they, are, they are in great form at the moment and it's very difficult to see who can stop them. In the last weekend, we backed them to get a draw or win away against Bournemouth. That was a difficult game in itself. And they managed to win 3-2. So they are in, in fantastic form. And they take on a side, uh, Vicom, who are at the bottom of the table. Very, very, I mean, pretty no chances of avoiding relegation. And are coming with four uh, defeats in the last five matches. All to nil. So um, we do expect the Tykes to to get a comfortable win here they have been very good especially also with, with teams that are sitting at the bottom six in fact they've won all their visits against those teams and um, we do expect they will come back they will continue their, their playoff push and uh, uh, begging them without conceding so to keep the clean sheet looks the best opportunity in this case and it's our first bet of our treble the second selection of our championship treble is Bristol City to beat Blackburn. So um, it, those two teams have been quite shaky and quite consistent in recent times. However, Bristol City are doing much better recently. Blackburn have failed to win in the last five matches at home. And the host have also lost seven of the last ten matches. So they are definitely not in good form. And this could be a good opportunity for Bristol City to to kind of continue and follow up the good uh, signs they have sent in the last few weeks. In fact, Bristol City uh, have sacked Dean Alden in, in, um, in the last month and, and things have started to improve uh, under Nigel Pearson and now they have won their last three away matches, including the one last weekend. So we do expect Bristol City to take advantage of the situation. After all, Blackburn have very little to ask to this league anymore. They are in mid-table, uh, in a mediocre position. So begging Bristol City to win looks a very interesting proposition and it's our second selection of our championship treble. The last selection of our championship treble is both teams to score in QPR against Millwall. QPR have lost three of the last five league games and this, despite they were starting to look a little bit better after a dreadful first part of the season, they, still, they, they now look vulnerable once again. The main problem this season for them has been defensive issues and if we look at the stats we can see they have conceded in 72% of their own games. Millwall, uh, they have also been very inconsistent. However, they uh, and also they, they actually struggle, especially uh, to keep clean sheets, especially on the road. If we look at the stats, we can see that four of Millwall's last five away trips 
have seen both teams to score. On top of that, the visitors have scored in their last 10 on the road, so everything points towards a both teams to score here. And uh, we have to say that QPR, although they have had problems to, 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 to keep clean sheets at the back, they have scored in five of the last six at home. But uh, obviously the, the problem is clearly in defence. And in fact, they have kept only two home clean sheets since, since Christmas Day. So definitely there is value in backing both teams to score in this match. So that concludes our treble for today, our championship treble for today. Let's hope we can get a win. But now there is more, stay with, the, stay with us in the programme as there is more bets that you can potentially place as we have Robbie Billund, our Premier League expert, that will give us the tips on one of the tonight's Champions League matches and also uh, with, it will couple that with uh, a, a Championship selection again and also it will give us a bet of the day. I can see that Robin is already connected with us so let's go straight away to him and Robin that's over to you. We are back again. We are looking ahead of Wednesday night as the Champions League uh, round of 16, the knockout stages, are to be finalized. The last two games to be played before we can look ahead of the quarterfinal draws that will take place on Friday night. But uh, first, of course, some very interesting games that we have to settle. Uh, we also have more championship football, which means that we of course have a lot of games to look through. And we have done that to pick out a double, a combination, and also picked out our best bet of the night for um, Wednesday. And there are some really good picks uh, that we hope can bring home some money for anyone who is backing those bets. Um, we start with Chelsea against Atletico de Madrid. Uh, Chelsea won 1 0 at Wanda Metropolitano a few weeks ago. They have a great result, of course, to build on from that. And um, it's, of course, it's turned around. I think Atletico was absolutely the favorites to advance. Uh, when we started this uh, meeting, but now it's uh, back to Chelsea uh, as the favorites and it will be a very, very interesting game on Wednesday night. It's uh, two teams that comes from goalless draws in the weekend. We know that they are building much of their game plan on very solid structured defense um, and it's been uh, not so many goals. Uh, at all actually in none of those two teams uh, last few games uh, Chelsea only four goals in total all teams included in their last five games and only eight goals in the last five for Atletico when they have played so total of 12 goals in 10 games for those uh, those two teams and we are of course with that in mind backing under 2.5 goals in this as well Chelsea will probably do all they can to just uh, sit back really defend and hold the nil-nil result that we start this one with uh, as they have the 1-0 lead from Olivier Giroud's fantastic goal from Madrid to, to build on. So under 2.5 goals in uh, Chelsea against Atletico, uh, that's our first pick for uh, the Wednesday double. Then we are looking at the championship where we have Birmingham against Reading. It's 5th uh, place Reading against 21st place Birmingham. Reading have, have, Reading have won 3 of their last 4 games. Birmingham are uh, on a run of 3 games without uh, 3 conse consecutive losses. And uh, this should have Reading all over it. Um, really good value uh, in backing the win for Reading here. And combining that with under 2.5 goals in the Chelsea and against Atletico game gives us a really good double to look ahead of uh, for Wednesday night. So that's what we are combining and that's the double for Wednesday night. Um, we have also, of course, picked out the best bet of the day for Wednesday. Uh, we had two really good best bets in the weekend, both who uh, we won at, uh, both on Saturday and Sunday. And we are, of course, hoping to uh, find another winner here. As mentioned, I think this will be very tough, tight, not so many goals. Uh, we are expecting under 2.5 goals in the game in total. And Chelsea will, of course, be very, very happy with the nil-nil result as long as they can hold on to that. 
Atletico, they also know that only 1-0, that will take this game to extra time if they can just find one goal. And they won't stress to get that goal. They won't go all out attack to open themselves up maybe uh, and instead concede. So a very slow control start to this game uh, is what we expect. And therefore, we're back under 0.5, goalless in half time. You can either maybe look at the direct result, nil nil result in half time, or the draw, but also under 0.5 goals uh, in the first half. That's the best bet of the day for Wednesday night at uh, in Atletico uh, against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. So we have a really good double here. We have a really great best bet of the day as well. We hope you back those and um, we wish you and us all the best of luck for Wednesday night. Thank you very much, Robin. And let's hope that we can get uh, more wins from you. Robin has been fantastic. He has won so many bets in the last couple of weeks that it's incredible. You can look at the previous episode and also, you can also go to our uh, website, betnewsforyou.com. If you navigate to, our, to the section, Bet News For You TV, you will find some of our last episodes and also uh, the, betting, the betting that we have won, the bet sleep won. If you want to see the whole episodes and, and you know, the whole range of episodes, you can actually visit us on YouTube where we have all the previous episodes uh, here at Bet News For You TV. But now, Let's move over to Italy. As I can see that our uh, Italian expert, uh, Luca Semproni, is ready to speak with us. So let's go over to him and uh, Luca, that's over to you. Ciao Simone, come al solito, benvenuto a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Betty Tips for You. Oggi vogliamo proporvi una doppia, una partita della Champions, una partita del campione italiano e poi come al solito una singola giocata sul marcatore. Partiamo dalla doppia, vogliamo scommettere su Bayer di Monaco Lazio over 3 e 5 il Bayer di Monaco nelle ultime 5 in Bundesliga ha tenuto 3 vittorie un pareggio e una sconfitta nell'ultima partita ha vinto 3 a 1 contro il Verde Brema fuori casa all'andata è finita per, per 4 a 1 il Bayer insomma ha letteralmente dominato se pensiamo anche al fatto che comunque aveva diverse assenze e nel secondo tempo di fatto il Bayern si è praticamente fermato, vittoria e scioltezza quindi. Il dato molto interessante per questa giocata è che il Bayern comunque in Bundesliga ha segnato 74 gol, si sì, avete capito bene, 74 gol. La seconda, il secondo attacco del campionato tedesco è il Borussia con 52 gol, quindi ben 22 gol in meno. Questo perché? Perché c'è un signore che si chiama Lewandowski che quest'anno ha segnato 32 gol in 24 partite. Nulla da dire, è veramente un alieno Lewandowski. Per quanto riguarda invece la Lazio, nelle ultime 5 partite ha ottenuto 2 vittorie ma ha subito ben 3 sconfitte. Nell'ultima partita 3-2 con il Crotone dove ha sofferto molto e ha segnato Caicedo all'85esimo. Probabilmente la Lazio paga la scarsa forma di alcuni giocatori molto importanti come Leiva, ma soprattutto Immobile che ultimamente sta, eh, sta segnando veramente, veramente poco, soprattutto per rispetto allo scorso anno dove ricordiamo era stato scarpa d'oro. Quindi ricapitolando, Bayer Lazio, Bayer di Monaco Lazio over 3 e 5. Per quanto riguarda il campionato italiano vogliamo giocare Torino-Sassuolo, gol di entrambe. Il Torino, due, vittor- due sconfitte, scusate, una vittoria e due pareggi nelle ultime cinque. 1-2 in casa con l'Inter, un Torino che ha giocato bene, ha ceduto solo all'85esimo al gol di testa di Lautaro Martinez, peraltro un bel gol. Il dato interessante è che però il Torino è andato in gol in sei delle ultime sette partite. Il Sassuolo invece nelle ultime 5 due vittorie, due pareggi e una sconfitta, l'ultima partita 3 a 2 eh, ha vinto con il Verona e anche qui il dato interessantissimo è che il Sassuolo è andato in gol addirittura in 15 delle ultime 16 partite. Quindi ecco, eh, ricapitolando, vogliamo giocare Torino-Sassuolo gol di entrambe, perciò la doppia è Bayer di Monaco Lazio over 3 e 5, Torino Sassuolo gol di entrambi. Veniamo poi alla giocata singola, vogliamo giocare Lewandowski primo marcatore, qui nulla da dire, eh, dicevo prima, 32 gol in 24 partite in questo campionato, 34 nel 2020, 
veramente ci domandiamo come mai questo giocatore non abbia mai vinto il pallone d'oro perché è veramente un fenomeno, un fuoriclasse assoluto, un bomber incredibile comunque eh, ricordandovi di eh, giocare resp- responsabilmente auguro buon calcio a tutti come sempre e ridotte la linea Simone Thank you very much Luca and let's hope that we can get more winning bets coming from Italy As you have probably seen in previous episodes, we always back the tips provided by our experts. And the reason we do that is because we believe, we trust uh, them as we can see how much effort they put into preparing games, in analyzing them, crunching the numbers and come up with great predictions. After all, they all have year year of experience with us. And uh, the reason why we back the tips that they provide is because we're confident that they can win. So this is probably going to be a reassurance to you as, uh, you know, if we back our own tips, then it's because we believe in them. And uh, so far we have achieved great results. So let's hope that we can continue like this and fingers crossed. But now uh, this is uh, at the end of this show. We will have another show tomorrow for the Europa League. So make sure you subscribe to practice for You TV and come back to find out more tips from our expert. But for the time being, i wish you a great night with the Champions League and the Championship and the Italian Serie A and the La Liga. Also, uh, good luck with your bets, but most importantly, remember, always remember to gamble responsibly. Make sure you subscribe to Betting This For You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website or on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Betting This For You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above, and everything is completely free. Also, in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bed sleep. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites. You will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change, so make sure you double check them before betting.